I'm a student. I'm a competitor. I'm a coach. I'm an athlete. I'm a Christian first and last. I'm created in the likeness of God Almighty to bring Him glory. My calling is to coach. I coach knowing God is in control and not me. I'm a member of Team Jesus Christ. I submit to God's authority when practicing and playing. I am created in God's image. My body is a temple of Jesus Christ. I protect it from within and without. I wear the colors of the cross. I face my opponent with the face of Christ. I glorify Christ in my coaching. I don't believe in my own strength. I submit to God's authority when practicing and playing. I do not boast in my ability. When I lose, I want to glorify Christ in my coaching. I grow in my walk with Christ through reading God's Word. I respect my coaches and officials. I respect my teammates and fellow competitors. I rely solely on the power of God. I submit to God's authority on and off the field. I give my all all of the time. I do not give up. I do not give in. I do not give out. I live out God's word in and out of the competition. This is my mission field. I use this platform to coach for His glory, not my own. Let the competition begin. Let the glory be God's. I'm here to share Jesus. I'm here to share Jesus. I'm here to share Jesus. I am God's warrior. Romans 8 and 28, for we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. I love that verse. It's my life verse. I read it almost daily. Um, there are times in my life, e even as a preacher, where uh, some days are a struggle. Uh, and as a pastor and a preacher and as a coach, uh, you're not supposed to have bad days. God's word uh, is something that I believe I should never put down. Uh, Christianity isn't a badge that I, I, I put on and I take off when it's convenient or when I'm around certain people. It's something that I keep on every single day because I want to be an ambassador for Christ. My name is Jake Adams. I go to Valley Heritage Academy. I'm in the seventh grade. I play baseball, football, and archery. Here's on three, here's on three, one, two, three. Hey, good job, good job, good job. Hey, guys, heads all over there. The biggest challenge I face as an athlete is not going through the motions giving 110% every practice, every snap, every time I put on a uniform, everything. I see scripture impacting my teammates by um, helping us have a positive attitude and giving 110%. I mean, that's what God's called us to do, to do everything for the glory of Him, not for earthly masters. What's a challenge for you as an athlete? Um, a challenge I would have to say would be um, probably critiquing myself to try and be my best and being a perfectionist of everything that I do. Okay, my name is Kylie Johnson and I'm from Buddy High School. I'm in the 11th grade. I play basketball, run track, and I also do competitions here. The Bible helps me get through like tough times like uh, down and discouraging of myself, I can remember the Lord's Word and it helps me push through those tough times and I'm also able to share it with other people who are going through tough times as well. And as far as our athletes, 
they're inundated with so much stuff in the world today. So many things that want to draw them out. So many things that want to take them away from the from what Paul said in Philippians was the, the right things, the true things, the virtuous things to think on. And, and what sports helps them do, and especially through the lens of FCA, is it gives us an opportunity to put faith in, to, to pour our faith out in front of them and to give them an opportunity to get away from all the noise. Not necessarily bad noise, but just a lot of noise in their head each and every day. I think our biggest challenge our coaches face is the understanding of being community and being part of a family. And especially when we talk about sharing their faith and stuff like that, uh, as, a, as a coach at the rec department with my boys, it's not just about coaching the children or the young person, the athlete, uh, to get better. It's actually talking to them a lot about life and the decisions in life. But it's not only being a part of their life, it's also being a part of their family's life. One of the biggest things I love is the relationships that I build with my kids. The relationships that you build during the season and those that continue to grow while the kids are in high school and those relationships that last once they've graduated and gone off to college. You know, I get to sit here and watch them grow and mature, not only as young ladies, but also as athletes and that's the neat part is watching who they become and where they go and what they do with their lives. Scripture is important because it's a day-to-day -day roadmap. It's our guide. It's our rock. Um, no matter what situation we're facing, there's something that can be found and a guide for us. I think that the biggest way that I take scripture and apply it to myself as a coach is through my words and my actions. I try to be positive. It's at times hard when you're constantly trying to get something right and you're drilling and drilling and drilling and practicing, but I try to keep words positive. And I had a former cheerleader give me something that said, People may forget what you say, but they'll never forget how they treat you. And so I try through my actions. I believe the Word of God is something that gets each and every person that's connected with Christ through what we're dealing with in our world today. Uh, so for me, the Word of God is life. And, and in the New Testament, what you see a lot in, in the Word of God is it's about encouragement and it's about growth. Really, when you're coaching, that's what you're doing. Uh, so many times we want to know, well, you know what we think and, and what we should do, and, and I believe the Bible gives us power and authority. And so for me as a coach, uh, I make sure that I have it with me everywhere because Steve doesn't have all the answers. I won't pretend that I have all the answers. And if there's a subject, if there's truth to be known, it only comes from this word in my opinion. Scripture changes the way I compete by making me feel bold and ready to go. Like in Joshua 1 9, like, do not be afraid, be strong and courageous. Like, it just makes me feel pumped up and ready to go. Um, my go to scripture would probably be Jeremiah 29 11, which is, For I know the plans I have had for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope in the future. Uh, that verse, it means that like, God has a future for you and a plan for you. Like, what your plan might be may not be His same plan. I think the biggest impact that FCA has for our coaches and our athletes, especially in our school system, is it gives them an encouragement to realize, hey, that you're, you're part of a, a, a family of God. You're not by yourself. I see the tool of FCA uh, impacting coaches and athletes because when, if we have little devotions, you'll see an athlete pull out an FCA Bible and you'll see coaches go to FCA pages and look at little devotions to share with you and it's just, it's getting everybody together. I believe people should give to FCA because FCA is using Christ to change the lives of young people that haven't had hope. Um, they don't have family. They're not connected in a lot of ways. And, I, and I'm generalizing here. Uh, I'm thinking of a few cases right now in my mind where I know a young lady that uh, she got involved in FCA and FCA became her family and she started going through something extremely difficult. And through those relationships, I believe God used those relationships uh, to give her hope. If someone were to ask me why I give to FCA, 
Yes, we could say because of the athletes, and I've seen it be very positive for my kids, and I've experienced wonderful camps. But if you were to ask me, I would say give for your coaches. It, we give as coaches day in and day out to our kids, and we pour everything we have into them. And it's nice to be poured back into from an organization that has the same principles, the same foundation, the same mindset that I do as a coach.